Hey YouTube, it is Dion. Today is oh May 12th and it is 10 15 p.m. On my face right now is the Cosmetics Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. But this is not what I'm going to talk about today. This ring light back here, guys, <laughs> is really bright. Um and it makes a glare on anything plastic. But this is not what I'm going to talk about today, but I just put it on my face actually really does love it. You can use it two to three times per week or as tolerated. I've used it as much as twice a week before. This runs out really quick. This is 1.3 ounces. Um, put it on clean skin, leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm like, what am I going to do for 10 or 15 minutes? Because I can't see distance to even watch TV without my glasses on. And I don't want to have all this on my glasses. And can't do anything on the computer because I can't see the screen. <laughs> so, my eyes are not that bad. I could have put my contacts in, right, and just did other stuff. So anyway, so what I wanted to do, which was on my to-do list anyway, was to review the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. And I purchased a small one from Sephora. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, and it says allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, ophthalmologist tested. Delicate oil cleanser immediately dissolves even tenacious makeup for all skin types. Apply to dry face with fingers and gently massage, rinse. So the first time I used this, I purchased this because I wanted to see if I can get away from using makeup wipe removers because of the wrinkles and the puffiness under my eyes. And so I wanted to see, okay, is there something else I can do to remove makeup besides wiping and rubbing my eye area and so I tried this I forget how much it was it was up at the counter at the Sephora inside JC Penney's so the first time I used this I had on um, foundation powder blush um, highlighter bronzer no eye makeup and so I used this I put some on my hands rubbed it in da, 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 and I intention, intentionally used a white face cloth to see okay was this really going to remove um, all of the makeup and so what I found was so first of course I dabbed my eyes because I wanted to look in the mirror and see if I had rinsed it all off which I did well it looked like I did and when I dried the rest of my face when I looked at the cloth and I did post I'll post pictures after the video because they look really gross <laughs> as if this doesn't look gross. Um, <laughs> and there were traces of makeup on the washcloth and I was like, oh man. And so I texted a friend of mine like, I'm not sure about this, if this is really gonna work for me or not. So what I thought was maybe I just didn't rub enough along my hairline. So I was questioning if it was just residual foundation from my hairline. So I said, okay, I'll try it again. And so actually last night, when I came home from Baltimore, well, this morning, when I came home from Baltimore Playhouse, I actually used more of this than I did the first time. And because your face is dry, like there's not water or anything running in your eyes, I was able to see and make sure, okay, I'm rubbing it in everywhere, around my nose, the bridge of my nose, you know, around my nostrils, my chin, and even like under here sometimes how when you take your blush or your powder, you might swipe some under your chin or your bronzer under your chin or your contour under your chin. So I made sure to get everywhere and even back here in case there was you know residual foundation around my ear and it looked like it was coming off it looked good so I rinsed my face I patted it dry and I'm like wow this is great but it really was residual around my hairline and so I'm like what is going on with that so my conclusion was that because this is an oil, and because my hair and my scalp like oil, <laughs> that even though I was making sure to get it here, it wasn't rinsing off of my hair. It wasn't rinsing out of my hair because it is an oil. And so I've decided I'm not going to continue using this because when I use this to wash my face to get the makeup off, I still have to wash my face with another type of cleanser or soap and I'm like, okay, do I want to wash my face twice? Especially when you're supposed to just be able to use just this, to my knowledge. If this is just to take off makeup and then you're supposed to wash your face after, please let me know. Because if so, 
then maybe I'll continue using it. But I don't like having to wash my face twice. When I use regular soap or um, a facial cleanser, I don't have a problem with makeup being left around my hairline. And so I would definitely have to wash my face after using this. And I don't really want to do that. That's like an extra step. I'm um, usually not at night of the day that I've worn makeup, I'll just wash my face in the shower. You know, lather up my hands with soap, cleanser, whatever I'm using, wash my face, scrub, soap, scrub, everything comes off and it's simple and it's easy. And I'm a simple person. I want stuff to be easy. I do. So let me know your experience with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil, if it works for you, if you have the same problem that I had with it not rinsing out of your hairline, which leaves foundation and makeup products along your hairline. Um, so that's it for this video and I think it's almost been 10 minutes so I'm going to wash this off. You will not see me again today and I apologize if I scared anybody with the blueness going on and so thanks for watching.